Hello there, and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad's Beer Reviews. I'm freezing today, I'm so cold, the heating's on, I just cannot, cannot get warm. I tend to be up on the hood up, I'll take it down in a minute. We're going to do a, another um, Tesco beer. Yeah, take that off. Do another, this, is why, this is why I'm cold, no hair. I could do another new Tesco release, because I've done the third Northern Monk. So um, I've done the Wasted <coughs> Dark Cross Bun beer. For me, it was okay. Mrs. Beer Dad, as I said in the reviews today, love, would love it, and she did. Thought it was really, really good. Um, I have done the um, Faith and New Faith and Futures, the Tank Petrol. Um, I thought that was excellent um, for supermarket beer. The original one, um, the, the original one, the ones that they do for the Patrons Project, um, Infinite Vortex, I think it's called, is is really good, and that's it for me. Looking back on it with a bit, a bit, a bit of hindsight and, and retrospectively and whatnot, maybe it's just a little bit of a watered down version. But it was still nice, it was still tasting, still worth giving it a go. Anyway, we're going to do this one now. This is Heretic. Um, and this is another hazy IPA at 6.5%. Um, it's a, a Sitting Aside the Duty Hoppy Act of Heresy with Simcoe, NO7, and Mosaic. <clears throat> you throw Citra hops in there and you've got four of the best hops out there for me i love idaho seven i really do it's a cracker of a hop i am um, excuse me i don't really need to know about this no not really not really i am um, best before is the 6th or the 9th 23 it says that on the lip i am um, 6.5 on the front uh, round here i um, have a little look at the label it's almost like the normal um, Northern Monk supermarket sort of labels. The one you get with Heathen and Double Heathen and Northern uh, Northern Star, and Faith and all that. You know, the background with the um, Angels of the North in it. This hasn't got the Angels of the North in it, but it's very, very reminiscent of that. Uh, it says also that's hazy, tropical and juicy. Um, that's interesting. The black, the black lid. That's an interesting little little addition. Uh, let's pop a top. Let's see what we've got with this one. Now, what I'm hoping that when I get my northern monk box, probably going to be next week, week after, I don't get any of these beers in there. It shouldn't do, but you just you just never know. Any hoodles, there we go. So clean the glass, what have we got? Two finger. That's why it looks creamy. Creamy head, it's very thick. It's densely compact bubbles. Beer itself <coughs> has that Baines, <coughs> Baines orange feel to it, dirty orange colour. I'm opaque, very opaque. No like getting through that whatsoever. Looks decent. It's in the nose, so we can smell. Let's go for it. It does smell good. Getting better. Got tropical fruit in there. Bit of grapefruit in there. Bit of passion fruit. Yeah, it smells good. Let's go for the body combination. Cheers, my dears. So the body is light but has that velvety feel to it. Um, it does certainly coat the palate and coats the roof of your mouth quite nicely. Um, carbonation is soft. Um, that's got that's got a really nice feel to it. <coughs> Let's go to the old taste. Cheers. Juicy, it's fruity. There's stone fruits in there, there's mango in there. There's an earthiness to it as well. I'm um, back, earthy backbone of this beer, that's lovely. A nice, light, dry finish. 
now I've got coming through, I've got like a, a grapefruit zest, grapefruit peel, back end. So it goes sort of earthy, dry, and then into that, that grapefruit feel. Up front at the other end of the beer, I say it's juicy. There's bits of passion fruit in there, there's bits of stone fruit in there. There's an, almost a berry feel to it as well, which is not, not too bad. I mean, it's a nice beer. It's not great. Um, I say it's been a while since I've done a supermarket beer. And there's a noticeable, noticeable drop off in quality in 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 these three that I've just done. Um, <coughs> compared to some of the other stuff that you can get from Northern Monk in the supermarkets. And I, I cite Heathen, double Heathen. Um, Northern Star. Death Star, Death, Death Star episode three or episode two, whichever doesn't mean a difference. They're all really good quality stuff. Um, these three just seem to be just just lacking me out, which is not like Northern Monk at all. But I understand that the good, obviously, the, the current financial crisis and the current, current financial climate. If you're gonna put stuff in the supermarket, you can cut back on the quality a little bit I, and you'll still sell totally get that totally understand that and at some point that's how you've got to if you want to make any decent money that's what you've got to do um, but that's it this is okay it is it, it's it's nice it's nice are the better IPAs out there yes yes there is um, again I cite the likes of Heed um but it's it's good. It's good. I might actually do a, a side by side with this and he and see how, how the, the two stack up. Because it's just, it's very similar. I'm sure it's even. I'm sure it is. Anyway. It's another monk's editor. Do I like it? Yes. Would I buy it again? Yeah, yeah I would. Yeah. Recommend to friends? Yes. Yeah, I would. Recommend <laughs> most of my beers to, to, to be made, to be fair. Um, <clears throat> if you've had this, let me know what you think. Please put a little comment in the comments box below. I will put a link to the Northern Monk website. Again, I don't know if you can buy it on there. I didn't look. Should have done, but didn't. Um, if you like the video, that if you don't subscribe down there, I've got one more supermarket beer to do, and it's a brew dog beer. I haven't done a brew dog beer on this channel since Almost Famous, but this one is the Arcade Mead. It's really piqued my interest, um, as has the black heart, but I'm not buying a, fa a four pack of it. I don't want to buy a four pack of it. You want to put one can. So I'm gonna do. I'm going to do the arcade made arcade made tomorrow, um, just to see what it's all about. I've heard some good things. Anyway, um, I'll see you in the next one. Stay there. Stay safe. Drink good beer. Here we go.